Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Last week, more than 15 million new cases of COVID-19 were reported to WHO from around the world. By far the most cases reported in a single week. And we know this is an underestimate. This huge spike in infections is being driven by the Omicron variant which is rapidly replacing Delta in almost all countries. However, the number of weekly reported deaths has remained stable since October last year, at an average of 48,000 deaths a week. While the number of patients being hospitalized is increasing in most countries, it's not at the level seen in previous waves. This is possibly due to the reduced severity of Omicron, as well as widespread immunity from vaccination or previous infection. But let's be clear, while Omicron causes less severe disease than Delta, it remains a dangerous virus, particularly for those who are unvaccinated. Almost 50,000 deaths a week is 50,000 deaths too many. Learning to live with this virus does not mean we can or should accept this number of deaths. We must not allow this virus a free ride or wave the white flag, especially when so many people around the world remain unvaccinated. In Africa, more than 85% of people are yet to receive a single dose of vaccine. We cannot end the acute phase of the pandemic unless we close this gap. We're making progress. In December, COVAX shipped more than double the number of doses it shipped in November. And in the coming days, we expect COVAX to ship its one billion vaccine dose. Some of the supply constraints we faced last year are now starting to ease, but we still have a long way to go to reach our target of vaccinating 70% of the population of every country by the middle of this year. 